Kill. Gain some more life. Mill some more. Hey everyone, Matt from TLMTG here, and today uh, we've got a new deck for Standard, and it's a crazy brew. I'm not going to lie, it's complete jank fest today. Um, all based around this card, Pestilent Cauldron. Now, we're not interested in the burst. We are going to be playing Orzhov Mill. Um, probably not the most effective mill deck you could ever make, but it seems to work occasionally. And when it does work, it feels great. Now, sometimes you've just got to build jank, and this is what it is. Uh, you can see by the CMCs. I mean, just look at it. It's it's just a nightmare. So this cauldron, uh, each opponent mills cards equal to the amount of life you gain this turn, tapping it for one. Not legendary as well, so we can get multiples of these on the field. Um, so we're basically just going to be gaining a, a ton of life, and then... Hopefully, mill our opponents out with a cauldron. That's pretty much it, unless we get Onyx onto the field. And then we start doing some Presser Mage Crafting, which is, you know, really cool. So let's have a look at the life gain effects that we do have. We have Cleric Class in there. If you would gain life, you gain that much life, a plus one. We can put counts and stuff when we gain life, and we can return um, target creature card from your graveyard, battlefield gain life equal to its toughness. Now, when you look at what we got, we got two creatures and 36 non-creature spells. So we do have the Cleric there as one of them. This is a land spell, you know, if we need it kind of thing. We can make other creatures here. We've got Sunset Reverie. Um, but yeah, the life gain. So Potion of Healing comes in, draws a card, sack it, gain three life. Revitalize, gain three life, draw a card. I've spoke about the Cleric can come in, gain two life, be nice as a blocker or, play, you know, play as a land, but we really want to be playing this time the Cleric as the creature. Sunsault Reverie, when we're behind, we can make 1-1 one, one blockers, we can potentially draw cards, and we can gain four life, which is what we need. We have a single Parasitic Grasp in there. I always struggle saying that one. Um, play Cleave or not Cleave, three damage, three life. Might want to up this, but I've not really found room because it's a bit situational, and I do like Fateful Absence as well when we're playing these colours. Cram session, lesson and learns, learning the lessons. We're gaining four life, which is great as a mill effect for two. And then we have the Meat Hook Massacre, which can be brilliant. Absolutely brilliant for us gaining life. Um, yeah, you know, whenever a creature opponent cross dies, we gain one life, which is really good. Whenever a creature, co a creature we control dies, they each opponent lose one life. Well, that's not really going to happen. So, Cosmos Elixir as well. Beginning of your intercept, draw a card, life touch greater than starting life touch, which sometimes it is, obviously, of course. And then we gain two life. We've got more mass removal in Doom Scar because we need to keep, you know, we need to keep the battle clear. So, four meat hooks and Doom Scar. Um, is the split and then we got two professor onyx like i spoke about as well land base um pathways shattered field of ruins to get rid of those annoying creature lands and then some basics there we go to the sideboard uh gain life sciences gain life sciences pest summoning makes one ones that can gain us life uh we've then got mask exhibition of course because when you're playing this why wouldn't you and then confront the past as well to bring back Professor Onyx. Now, this is Orzhov Mill. We're going to take it to the fun play and just see how it goes. Um, I've already had some patrons, because if you're a patron, you get to see the deck list earlier, and they said they've been getting wins with it, which is absolutely hilarious, but they're clearly better players than me. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is one perk. If you are a patron, you get to see all these crazy brews early before anyone else, um, just in case, you know, Arena run out of cards and you can't get them. Uh, but let's take some gameplay and hopefully get some wins. Right, here we go. Opening hand. Well, we got the pestilence. We don't have any white mana, though. Um, so that's a little bit annoying. Um, just make sure my audio is okay. Um, we keep seven, though. We got pestilence there. Uh, maybe you want to, you know, splash green to do the return target creature, two target creature land, but we don't really have that, so that is the reason why <laughs> we're not looking at. We're literally going all in on the cauldron. That is the plan. Okay. Oh, that was nice. Now, sometimes you do have to use your card draw without being able to mill. You sometimes do, because um, you need to find what you need. Now, see, this is a case. I mean, we've got Doomscar, 
Pestilence are okay, but we do need uh, the other white mana. So we will go down with Pestilence. Now this also has discard a card, create a 1-1 one, one black green pest token. So we can get blockers there by discarding cards, which is really nice. Um, we really want to get some lands into play here. Wow, Scoot Swarm. So we're going to be looking at Doomscar pretty soon, to be fair. Um, very soon. <laughs> very, very soon. So that is a perfection. Um, we probably... Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going with Cosmos. And end turn. Gain life doesn't really matter though with the poison counters that are coming at us. Okay, yeah. I mean, we're gonna get we're gonna get a really good wrath here, but we are going. Huh. We're going to six. This is slightly dodge. Uh, let's play that. Let's kill all of them. End turn. Gain a little bit of life. We couldn't do what we wanted to do there, but hey, we had to clear the field. So another fin. Okay. Um, we will be able to play a block of this turn, though. Okay. Becomes the god. What do we get? Me hook massacre. So can we do it? Um, damn it! We can only do it for three. That is not what we want. So I think we're going to... No. That's a little bit awkward. All right, let's... Let's draw. Gain three life. Well, we got the land. We will play. Um, we will mill. Um... I'm already playing this wrong. I should have done this first. Should have done that first. Sorry about the misplay straight away. Absolute idiot. Draw a card. I was a bit confused about which play I wanted to play there. Okay, so that's pumping up again. We will block. Indestructible. Hmm. Well, it doesn't get round me hook, which is lucky. So we do this for four. One, two, three, four. See if I can recoup my bad play. Um, okay. Let's mill a card. Because we might as well. We're on 27 life, but it's typically that we're playing like death touch. An opponent just quits there. Wow, we my bad plays and still got the win. Oh, I love it when that happens. <laughs> Right, here we go. Let's do some milling of the ores of type. Tayo sheep. Open in hand. Yeah, I mean, we got some card draw to try and find what we need. We got three lands. We're not going to sniff at that. So that seems pretty decent. And we draw the pestilence. So, yeah, pretty nice. Always like the luck of the top draw. All uh, right. Potion healing. We will draw a card. Cram session is nice. Okay. I was just about to say, is it going to be a Jorn deck? That's cool. We'll go down with our Pestilent. Um, not anything we really want to discard. Because we want the land to play multiple spells. We want to get Cosmos Elixir down. But we'll take the three. Okay. Thought they might play something first then. But nothing to play. Okay, that's fine. Um let's get this down. Um Yeah, I think we'll go with Cram first. Get ourselves an environmental. Uh, get one of these and then pass the turn All 
Right, the fairy. Okay. Think I'll be um, discarding a card. Cosmos seems decent, but it's not really what we want at the moment. So we're going to play a blocker. Because I want to be doing other stuff. Um, zombie wizard. Okay, we really need a wrath. We really do need a wrath. We're being snowed on. Okay. So why wouldn't they play Grove and Law first? That was a bit of a bit of a misplay there, because I could have played that before, but that does tell you that they're keeping Sam back. Um would have been lovely to draw removal there, but hey. Um Can we get rid of both? I think we can, so we can go. We have to not worry about the life here. We have to do three damage there, and then we do this because they're running blue, and to get rid of fateful absence, and end turn. Okay, so we got Cosmos back, so we can get on the card drawing, um, and then hopefully we will start the millage. Forty-five cards to go there. This is going to be a recurring threat, so it's going to be really awkward. That's just so good. That's so good. Okay. We're playing Snow, and Snow is hard to play against. So, we're, luckily, we're on a fair bit of life, so we don't have to worry about that. It's haste and menace. We will pass the turn. And the ultimate on that mine's five. Okay, so it's not, it's not too bad. Um, let's go with Cleric Class. Um, let's do a revitalize. Okay, cram session. Um, let's, yeah, let's mill. What we wow, we got rid of some power there. Jeez. Jeez, Ren. Hours of pit. Wow, this is a deck we're playing against here. This is a deck we're playing the jank against her. Proper deck. Come on. <laughs> 28 life. Lovely. 40 cards to go. Oh, our round's epiphany. But I mean, that was a good lot of power gone. But, you know. But it's still going to try and beat us down with those lands. Spirit is going to make a difference because it's a big 7-7. Seven, seven. We can make some blockers with Sunset. Um which would be nice. And we can cram session as well to do a bit more millage. We, we probably should get the Cosmos Elixir down. We'll see if we draw land. Because um, this is going to make some big swings. Big swings. So you can still pay the two... Make a 4-4 four, four with haste, which is nice. Nafri comes back to the battlefield again, pumps everything up. An untapped land, I don't think, has this been used yet? I'm not too sure. No. Okay, good job out of it. Okay, there goes Yawn. Yeah, come on, top draw. Oh. I was really hoping that we would top draw. All right, let's do cram session. Get ourselves a masker exhibition. Hmm. So we can do one or the other. This we do need blockers. So let's go in with sunset reverie. We do draw a land. Uh, we can actually we can do both actually. So we can. Activate the ability, gain three life, and then we can mill as well for nine cards. Sweet. I told you it's janky. It really is janky. <laughs> so we've got opponents of 29. Mask exhibition for more blockers. 
Um, this doesn't have trample yet, so that's always good. Yawn as well, untapping. It's going to be a tricky one, but we're going to fight. Okay, that comes in tap, so that was a bit of a mistake. That was nice for us. Untap land. I would have untapped that land, to be honest. Okay. Oh, I suppose, yeah, it makes a 4 4. Haste menace. Then Avalanche can make one as well. Oh, we're going to need our wrath so badly. That 35 life is going to be eaten. We have Meat Hook Massacres. Four of them. We have three. Um, so we're block the 11 and block the 6 and take a chunk. Well, we're back on our starting life. Back to 20. <laughs> back to 20, but hey, uh, dead next turn unless we draw Wrath. Okay. Oh, come on. Give us that Wrath, please. Please give us that Wrath. Come on. Come on, do it. Do it. No, that is not it. Oh, dear. See, it's four to draw a single card, which then doesn't leave us enough. So we're going to have to play this. Mask at Exhibition. Um, we can discard a card. Which we will do. Um, we can do that in opponent's turn. In turn. So we can make one more blocker. But we're still under the cosh. Now this can... If it tap land first. Yeah, okay, that's cool. There's a... 5-5. Five, five. Are we still dead? Block. Block. 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We, we could, honestly, just still be dead. Because, yeah, because they can just keep doing this. It's multiple times. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. Let's make a 1-1. One, one. So we're technically on 21 life. <laughs> I don't think that's really going to matter, though. So we're block there. Um, where's the next biggest one? So, yeah, block there. Um, block there. Block there. I'm not doing the math. I'll just see if we're dead. Four, six. Are we dead? Oh, we're down at five. Okay. Back to six. Lovely. One more chance to draw that wrath. Just so it can be countered. Come on. Play the top card. It's a snow land. Okay. One more chance. Sunset Revelry. <laughs> okay. Not enough, unfortunately. And a land. Um. Um, no, we don't stay alive, do we? One. No, because they can just pay the two. What are they on? 26. There's five cards there. Um, one more blocker doesn't do it, so we've got one, two, three. And then they make one, two, three. Yeah, no. It's not happening. It's not happening. We're going to mill just to get the last bit of milling. Opponent at 21. We couldn't beat the powerhouse. We're going to go to 14. Because they can just make too many 5-5s five and then they've got this to untap as well to make a 3-3 three, three with haste as well. Um, so yeah, we're pretty much dead. Well, we are dead. <laughs> so come on, attack in with your snow. We got them to 20. Got them to 20. It's not terrible. But it's not great. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot coming in. Attack in, my friend. Attack in. Good game. Good game. Uh, block the 15, shall we? And we'll block the 6. And boom. 
we didn't find any of those wraps. I'd love to know if opponent had a counter spell in there. Um, we didn't see any, but hey, great game, great game. Right, we're playing Azo. Let's get the mill on. Okay. Well, we got the cauldron. No white mana. But it's not terrible. We will give it a go, for sure. Right, keep seven. Let the jank fest begin. Mono red, goblins. Yes. <laughs> We're going to play this. Just so we've got some white mana available in case. Bow for right goblin. Okay, we got the meteor massacre, so that's fine. Um, typically draw that, but hey. We're not to know. And I wanted to turn to Fateful Absence. Okay. Attacking it for five. Get rid of the goblin. Hit for two. Doesn't mean they can draw a card, but. Right, cauldron's in. And we can make a blood opponent's looking at going, what the hell? <laughs> Uh, goblin trash. Goblin trash. Get rid of one of these. Get rid of one of these. It's all about preserving life. Preserving life. So we'll do a blocker and we're gaining life. Nice. Gain a life. Sweet. So, Trash Master. Sunset Reverie is cool. Which we'll play. Gain the four life. Get two creatures and manage to mill as well. Um, sacrifice a goblin. Oh my god, they can sacrifice it to destroy. Forgot about the gab goblin Trash Master. Yeah, we're going to mill now. I mean, we still get the interaction. They should have done it before we could do this. I mean, that's fine. We've got another one in there, but... Kill. We mill for four. What do we get? We got five blade raging, raging, so yeah, a lot of aggro. And it leaves us with one blocker. 22 life. Opponent looking, which is good for us. Me hook mask of possible for three, which is good. Thunder rebuke on a one-one just feels good. Feels good for us. Feels bad for our friend. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's get another one down. Not really going to get rid of any of these. We do need to get rid of that though. We really do. Goblin Trash Master. Oh, they've got another one. Yeah, we're going to meat hook after this. We're going to meat hook. Now, if they want to sack that to kill that, okay. Okay, so another one of these. Let's do this for one, two, three, four, just to be sure. We're coming in with a meat hook, uh, because this will be sacked to kill this anyway. So I want to make sure they can't pump this up, potentially, on the toughness, if they can. Because we lose this anyway. Okay. Yep, that's fair. And then we got a Cosmos Elixir in. They're going to sacrifice it himself. Sacrifice a goblin. They can't sacrifice it, it just stops the life gain. Or life drain. Okay, sweet. Okay, so Cosmos Elixir is going to have to do some work for us now. 
but we are holding the ship against a very, very aggro deck. Up to 19. We've got Fateful Absence as well for anything naughty. Like that. Which is a tad annoying. We'll keep the Cosmos there to force them to do it. Okay, we'll have to hold that back at the moment. We'll hold that back. We're going to gain some more life. Because we really want this down. <laughs> Okay. Let's get rid of one. Can't believe... I mean, seriously, what opponent's drawing. Seriously, with the game game, what I'm coming up against today. Oh, just let me play my jank and have fun and stop putting me against these cards. <laughs> oh, my days. So funny. Let's draw a card, please. Life is not under threat. We just need to get rid of these blimmin' trash masters. Draw a card, please. Okay, cram session. They're not going to do us on life. We just need to get rid of this before we can play this. Cram session. Three, four, five, six. And we will go and get mask exhibition now. To help us out a little bit. We'll leave the portion healing there. We just need to find either some removal to get rid of this. Because they can sack multiples. Which is a little bit annoying. Coming in for three. That's good. So land would be nice. Land would be nice. So we can always sack that in response. But they probably they would go for the Meat Hook Massacre first. I'll turn right. Yay! Let's play Masker. Now we're attacking from a different angle. You watch two removal spells in there. Bang, bang. <laughs> right? Yes. Under 20 life opponents. Take it. Was that going to be a rebuke? If that's a rebuke, I'll go mad. Please. Please don't be a rebuke. What did I say? Oh my days, they actually had the two perfect cards. It's it's like Arena just stacks them sometimes. It's like they do, they just stack them. Don't you think that? Aren't you thinking that? Now, now they're top drawing. Professor Ronix. Take it. Here we go. There we go. Get rid of that Goblin Trash Master. They can attack our Meat Hook Massacre if they want. What are they attacking? Well, that was silly. We'll just sack it in response. And then we'll attack in. Maybe that was silly. If they got haste. If they got haste. No, yes. First bit of non luck. Sweet. And opponent quits. We take care of the Goblins. We didn't, you know, we didn't get to meal, but we held out. We controlled the game. Just got a bit salty there. There were some top draws there that I wasn't happy about, but hey, they're in the deck to be drawn. Right, here we go. Playing Kavamzi. Um, uh, we do have a cleric there for white mana as well, so we'll, we'll keep that. Uh, we will play at turn one because we want to play portion of healing definitely turn two now I want to um, yeah I'll play this I was going to play cram sessions to go and sort the mana out but we draw okay now I will and I'll get environmentals and Past the turn, so I can go and get the black or white mana, whatever we desire. Probably doing nothing, which really does help us out a bit. Um, we're going to have to do this, and I think we get... Hmm, black mana. 
we will play foretell the doom sky okay i'm a bit nothing from opponent's deck at the moment which is a little bit strange but hey let's go with pestilent then um we have to gain life so we'll be able to mill still nothing from opponent okay oh dear me still no still no right okay so let's go we need to draw cards so let's go here okay nothing <laughs> let's mill and then hopefully get an idea of what opponent's playing land land removal removal will removal will do nothing against us absolutely nothing we're gonna mill you we're gonna mill you let's calm the bat down Professor Ronix will be a problem. Skyclave Shade. Okay. Ah, that's a 5 3. Okay. Uh, but we got so much life. Um, so let's activate. Um, kill. Gain some more life. Mill some more. There uh, we go. Opponent down to 37. What do we get there? Me, me, more removal. So this is just going to be a recurring threat. Um, but we're on so much life. Comes in as a 5-3. A lovely. Okay, another land. Like to see it. Like to see it. Let's play a Cleric. Um, let's go in with Potion Healing. Draw a card. Meat Hook Massacre is nice. Let's activate that ability. Gain three plus the one, so we get four life. Then we mill some more. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we, well, we cleared the land out for opponent. We did clear the land out. We're up to a massive 39 life, and we got opponent down to 32 guards. This could be the bane to mono black. That's nice. Four, three. Um, so, three. Two, three. Auto pay for the meat hook. So, when these die, we do gain life. Sweet. Interactions. Oh, look at this. And then we mill for four more. Come on. Oh, I love this deck. It's so funny. <laughs> Once we play decks, you know, if they can't remove this, if they're not playing white, generally, or green, it is really hard for opponents to um, do stuff. Um, let's do that. Gain for life. Um, play environmentals. And that is enough. The mill. Annihilated Mono Black there. It's absolutely brilliant. We got in for the win. Right, we are playing Manju. Yeah, the problem with Vine is that people just won't let us mill them. It's quite funny. Uh, there's a lot of hate around mill, but hey, this is hilarious. Opponent goes first. We need to draw land, but we will keep this because we've got turn one, turn two into cram session. Which means then we can go and get our sciences. Let's play Cleric Class. Cleric Class, shall I say? Okay. Um, and we get Environmental. Already up to 25 life already. Nice, nice. Oh, Infinity. I like the look of that. Um, let's play there. Yep. Environmental. Get. Our swamp mana. So it gives us meat at massacre, and we've got cleric that we can play as well. And what does this do? Uh, I guess we're gonna... Create a treasure token, eh? Okay. Um... Meat hook's coming in. Get rid of the artist. Gain two life, up to 30 life. 
So now we just need to find... Right, Zorn is sweet. Like it. I like opponent's idea of Deco. It's nice. Caesar Spoils. Draw cards. Okay, land is nice for us. So we will... I want to revitalize. I think we just play this. Let's play Portal to draw a card. Cram session. Okay. We're 2 nothing. Life is fine at the moment. We're getting up in the manner where we can need to get Exhibition as well. So extra. Uh, what's coming here? Something's coming. A double spell. What is it? Caesar Spoils, love it. Nice. Resolve all. So that's lots of card draw. Lots of treasures. Creating one more. So six treasures up there already. Absolutely loving it. Stormkin. Sweet. It's a 5-2. Shambles. Coming in. Any more? Any more for any more? Nothing coming in. Okay, sweet. Okay. So, yeah, let's... Doomscar. And then... Opponent will get a treasure. we get some more life. Uh, we will play Cram Session. Go up to 40 life and get our Masker Exhibition now. Because we're getting close and we'll play this as a land. Pass the turn. Trying to find our mill cards. Come on. Dual strike. So here we go again. Some more copying. Oh, just, just draw those cards. I mean, if we get our mill going, it's going to be brilliant. Look at all those treasures. Oh, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. Caldone. Okay. Let's play Mascot. Okay, seven treasures though. Got a feeling there could be some kill spells coming. Deadly dispute, draw more cards. Okay. 43 life though. Sometimes you like, you know, don't you feel like you should have a chat thing sometimes where you could, I could chat to manager and go, look, I love your deck. I mean, I suppose it opens it up to too much abuse, but then I suppose you just block people. Um. Trying to keep it a safe space as well is really hard. Matuk Massacre. Okay. So I want to try and find our meal if we can. No, that is not it. Okay. So I will... I'll just attack all in. And then I will Cosmos. Okay. So, ten treasures there. Deadly Dispute to draw more cards. I mean, if opponents saw our mill, they would be getting really worried. If we could actually just find our card, please. Come on. Come on. Deadly Dispute again. Resolve all. Okay, and then we will play Elixir. In turn 51 life. Draw a card. We found it. Come on. Opponent's got 23 cards left. But we need to gain life. We can gain life with pollution. We've got cleric class there as well, uh, which means we can plus. Which is interesting. How many lands we got? Three, seven. Storm Kiln comes in. I mean, it's a 12 2 to be fair, which is um, pretty big. Love it. Love it. What's coming? What's coming? 13 2. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Love it. Love it. We're both playing just absolutely hilarious bruises. So we can go up to 50, what, 55 life. So at the moment, it's still a 15. Um, but what could they get? Double strike, double strike. Our one's epiphany. Okay. Okay, but it does shrink the storm down. 
does shrink it down. Opponent's got 23 cards. Okay. Oh, okay. Now it's down to a three. So I'm a little less worried. All right, we're just going to take the six. Down to 45. Opponent does get another turn, though. So looking at the cleric class. Okay. So what is this? When it's power because 20, it deals 20 damage to any target. What? What? Have they got a way to double it? 11. Forty nine <laughs> down to thirty one. Absolutely love it right now. How can we do this? I suppose we play pestilent. Um I have to get rid of that. Have to get rid of that. We gain one life. Um, I think I'm going to do no attacks. I'm a little bit worried. We do draw a card. Um... We're a mill. Mill two. Opponent draws a card down to 19. I'm scared. I'm scared. And that is enough for the win. We're going to get the build there. Oh, another victory. Another victory. As soon as the opponent started building and they saw Pestilent come down, the Ryan was on the wall. But I absolutely loved your deck, Manju. Loved it. Loved it. Um, if you ever get to watch this, please leave it in the comments. I'm, I'm pretty sure you won't, but that was fun. Um, so this is today's deck. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's complete jank. Um, you'll wheel, wheel people out or they will just quit before you do. That tends to be what happens when you play this sort of deck. Um, it's hilarious. Put it together if you can. Have fun with the cauldron. It was just one of those rares that was in my set that I just never played with. And I like doing stuff like that. So if you've got any rares in there that you don't know what to build around, put that in the comments. I can always brew some stuff and maybe you get to see the deck like that if I've got the card and then I can see what I do. But yeah, big shout out to all my Patreons. Thank you for that support. If you want to support me that little bit extra, please check it out there. Little as a dollar a month um, really does help out. And I appreciate every one of you that watches to the end, likes the videos, comments, and shares it everywhere. But you lot take care, and I'll see you on the next video.